I've tried to do three things in this book. So first, I have talked about the why of church planting. Why should we be planting churches? Why is this an essential ministry for the Episcopal Church in the 21st century? I've uh, talked about what I believe are the seven most important reasons that we should be planting churches. And so I hope that this part of the book addresses a lot of the questions that people have uh, about why in all areas of the country and of the church, we should be reaching out to new populations in new ways. The second thing I've tried to do uh, is I have interviewed a number of different church planters in the Episcopal Church. I have read a number of books about church planting from other traditions, and I have integrated all of that knowledge with my own experience as a church planter in order to write a number of chapters about the nuts and bolts of church planting. So that part of the book covers everything from how you create an initial vision for a church, how you gather a leadership team, how you reach out to the community for new members, and even uh, the nuts and bolts of finances and facilities. The third thing that I have done in the book is I have uh, talked about what I believe denominational and diocesan leaders can be doing to support the ministry of church planting in the Episcopal Church. So what kind of changes do we need to make in our structures? What kind of support services uh, should we be providing? How can we, in general, be supporting reaching out to new people in this vital, essential, and courageous ministry for the Episcopal Church?